Alright, what's good boys? It's the Adidas Hat Kid back with another video. So I know in pretty much every single video I say this, I've been wanting to do this one for a really long time. You know what I'm saying? Like, when did Slime Lines 2 even drop? Like, two months ago or something? Uh, bro, I don't know. That video was supposed to drop a long time ago. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this right now. So yeah, y'all heard the sample. Y'all know the first thing in here is a trumpet. I'll create the pattern again real quick. So basically start at like 115 BPM. Anywhere between like 110, which is like super slow, and then like 125, which is really fast for like a wheezy beat. I like to sit at like 115 or like 120. And what I'll do is start on the root note. Always start on the root note. Build a triad. And then we're gonna put another one on top. Basically I want like the sound in like Young Thug's hot. I'll just go here and build like some more triads. Just like that. And then I'll go on like, uh, I think it was F sharp. You want like that anthem sound, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I'll just copy these down. Bring these in and then paste that over. And then what we're gonna do at this point is just kind of like add top notes on it. So first off, I'm gonna just take this uh, note right here and then I'm gonna pitch it up. So let me just paste all this over again. The original was actually pitched down an octave though, so let me just go higher. Right there. Anyway, y'all kind of get the point. Progress it and build it up and stuff. You want to keep it building up. So that horn came from session horns. Right, so inside session horns, you really want to kind of mess with the settings because I don't like the default setting because it has like way too much saxophone in it. I chose R&B and soul. I clicked on this until it showed smooth selection. And then I just made sure my velocities were right. You know what I'm saying? For effects on that, I did a ROM. I use this all the time. I really don't do anything special with effects. I just my regular stuff. This is just the default preset. It's just a reverb pretty much. I added an RC. 20, totally not the vinyl 3 preset. I added an EQ because it was really too bright and just, I don't know, in your face. I, I didn't want it like super bright, but I wanted it to be really brassy, you know what I'm saying? And then I just added another reverb because I want to drown the sound in a little bit. I had these two horns right here. I'll just play them both at once. And then I just kind of pasted that over. Basically, this is just one of the layers right here and then the other. These all have the same effects as the trumpet, just a ROM, RC20, EQ, basically just went to file, save mixer track state, and just drag it in here. So all of these are the same. First trumpet in here, this one, was from Balkan at the orchestra, Gypsy Flugelhorn, not Flugelhorn because I heard somebody pronounce it that way. Hey bro, you wanna pull up with a Gypsy Flugelhorn? <laughs> oh, I got the whole squad laughing with that one, bro. And then the second one I had was this one. After that, got a path from Balkan at the orchestra. Anyway, so I, I wasn't really a fan of like the lack of rhythm. I added this low violin. And that just repeats. I just put the violin in really fast and then I just kind of mess with the velocities here. Um, for effects on that, I just had a Paramish EQ, Freddy Reverb, Freddy Limiter, just to kind of turn up the gain a little bit because it was really quiet before. Um, so after that, I had these two accent sounds. Anyway, so this is the first part of the layer. And the sound for that is from Sonic Forest. It's like a really underrated mallet and like bell bank. It's really cheap, it's like $20. I really highly recommend it. Uh, anyway, I just added a Paramish EQ to that. And then I layered that with a Celesta. 
Uh, the Celesta had an EQ on it, had an RC20, and then a Fruity Limiter, just to kind of turn the gain up on it. Sounds pretty good with the trumpets. After that, I had a kind of like a pulsing ambience, I guess. And then basically this half repeats over here. So yeah, how I made that was I had this pattern right here. Then I pasted this over here. Uh, and basically it's just like an accent. You know, I just kind of followed kind of what my gut told me to do, I guess. That also came from Sonic Forest. Uh, it was a Rays of Sun preset. And basically the effects that are added to that, Parametric EQ and then an Effectrix to do like the whole reverse thing. Basically just leave it on default settings and just drag it across like that. And then just an RC20, uh, just a vinyl three preset. What I did with this is I clicked on this button down here. I rendered it out like that. And I was left with this right here, except it was shifted over like this. So there was like a little space like right here that I didn't want. So what I wanted to do is move it over. To top all of this off, I added a synth bass. Uh, basically, it just follows the root notes. That synth bass is from uh, Bass One and Pilgrim Mirage. Uh, I didn't have any effects on that. A lot of y'all have been asking for like my settings on how I export my loops and everything. So basically I just have a limiter that turns up the gain because it's really quiet. I have a parametric EQ to take out mids. I have an Arbox compressor. I have it set at like, I don't know, 3.8 uh, or whatever. And then I have another limiter. And basically what this does is it compresses it to make sure it doesn't go over like a certain dB. Uh, and then I have a fresh air, basically brightens it up a little bit. So yeah, that's how you can make some crazy trumpet stuff for like Young Thug and Nob. Uh, so yeah, if you got something from the video, please subscribe. It really helps a lot. Uh, I got a drum kit dropping soon. Really excited for that. See ya. Yeah, till next time.